Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you hear little kids screaming outside right now, I live right next door to a daycare and I think it's like a summer camp. So those kids are so loud right now. So if you just heard someone scream, that's all that that is. All right, you guys, I love you so much. I just wanna say thank you for joining me for today's reading. I'm glad you guys are really liking the video that I put out a couple days ago on No Contact, The Current Energy. So today we're gonna to do another reading for every sign. Um, and it's all about their feelings for you. This is whoever you choose to focus on for the reading. We're going to tap into that person's energy and ask Spirit to show us what's going on with that person right now emotionally. What's on their mind? What's in their heart when it comes to you? I never know what's going to come through, but just know that I'll always be honest and I'll always be nice about it. Okay, you guys, if you're new here, my name is Lynn. This is Passion and Heart Tarot. Thank you for joining me for today's reading. Feel free to watch for your sun, moon, and rising signs if you find that that's helpful. And we are going to start out with Leo's reading because it is Leo season. Happy birthday to all my beautiful Leos. My birthday is the 16th of this month. I am a Leo myself, as you guys probably already know because I say it in like every video. Okay, let's jump right in before I begin. Just wanna take a moment to get the white light of the Holy Spirit. Okay, my beautiful Leo, so this person on your mind. Let's tap into their current feelings for you. So Taurus's energy is one of the first signs showing up. Are you thinking of a Taurus, Leo? If not, that's okay. It could just be the energy of cross watchers watching your reading or your moon or rising sign could be in Taurus. The overall energy is the nine of swords. This is about words that were spoken that someone really regrets. Like if they could take those words back, they wouldn't say them. So I know that you have someone that's thinking a lot about what they said to you and even what you said to them. Maybe even the words that the two of you spoke to each other that hurt each other. I know when I tap into this person's energy, they don't want to keep thinking about the things that they feel you, like the way you hurt them with what you said. And at the same time, they don't want to keep, um, they wish that they didn't say whatever this is to you that may be cut so deeply. This person does look at you as their true love and the love of their life. It just seems like for some of you, there's a whole lot going on and even like maybe the trust is broken with someone right now this person wants to do whatever it takes to fix the trust with you but at the same time they already feel like they're kind of bending over backwards in a sense leo this person feels like they're compromising on what's important to them they do feel that way and then again at the same time because there's so much mirroring going on here i i know that they also acknowledge the things that you have compromised on that have been important to you that maybe you've had to accept that you couldn't have it just seems like between you and this person's energy that i'm picking up on it's very complicated there's a lot of hurt feelings but then also a drive within this person to want to feel better and then to want to make you feel better if you're wondering why they're not coming forward it's because i think they stuck their foot in their mouth and they don't know what to do next they don't know which move to make. So this person is just in a position now where they feel stuck. Stuck because they don't know what to do, but then also stuck because of the ways when, you know, they start to think about everything that they've already done. You know, please don't think I'm not on your side, Leo, when I read these energies to you. But that's what's going on. I really want to look deeper into this 
Pyrofall energy here. So I can see just some things repeating now. Look at this, the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Wands. It's repeating because I feel the mirroring between the two of you, how you guys both may be looking at a situation in a very similar way right now, but that's also like a blockage in itself. If neither of you wants to acknowledge how the other one sees it, this person just at times feels like they need more of your support it's at times it's it's off and on with that energy thinking a lot about your feelings for them leo what you want from them what you want to have with them they think a lot they this person thinks a lot they definitely do and and recently has been losing sleep over whatever it is that the two of you said to each other or if you just feel like this person said things to you that hurt you deeply they're definitely losing sleep over that they feel like this is short term these problems not that their relationship is meant to be short term they feel like this is just like a bump in the road between us we really do belong together we belong to each other they're the perfect person for me and even though things are rocky right now between us we still belong together and ultimately this person still believes that the two of you are going to end up together you know the two of cups in reverse is even why i read these blockages because that's two people who are not seeing eye to eye right now i want to look for Pisces has also come through now you guys is this about a Pisces or your moon or rising sign in Pisces Leo could just be cross watchers here that's all the moon yeah see that's why I'm describing this energy to you because it's about the way this person feels things are going to get back on track between the two of you and like it's not over and finished that there's still potential for this to be their forever relationship our forever relationship so i think that what spirit wants you to know is even though it looks like there's difficulties with this person maybe to look at things from their perspective because it just seems like in order to see their perspective you just have to look at your own perspective the mirroring i know can come like that can be annoying when you hear about the mirroring like when you hear that you know someone feels the way that you feel about a situation but that's really what i can see so if you feel like I'm picking up on your own energy, describing your own energy, Leo, that's that's the point that I want to get across about the mirroring because it's not. It's the way that this person could be feeling what you feel. But I know that ultimately uh, there's a lot of shame and, and, and guilt and regret. Wanting to make things better, wanting to make it right, wanting to take the pain away, but really not knowing which step to take to get things in the right direction cancer's energy is here now and pisces is very strong so this makes me wonder is anyone on the cusp of cancer moon or rising cancer libra's energy cross watchers who you're thinking of moon or rising signs leo i'll mention it because it's here so this person is th this person just thinks a lot about what they feel has been very unfair but then also like what they did to you that was unfair that got them in the position that they're in now but then also about the things that they feel you've done that haven't been right when it comes to them. Okay, Leo, that's what I can see going on with this person currently. That's how they feel. I love you guys so much. Next is Virgo. Okay, Virgo, this person on your mind, let's tap in and see 
how they feel about you currently. Is anyone thinking of a Gemini or a Leo or a Libra or a Scorpio? Because those are all the energies coming through so far. Could be a Scorpio, Libra, Cus person. Could be your own moon or rising signs, Virgo, or just the energy of cross watchers here. Let me show you these messages coming through. This person wants to work on building trust with you. They do. They want to work on building the trust first of all. You are the love of their life. To see the lovers coming through, it just shows me. But it's like the, the blockages between the two of you with the lovers in reverse. It's like we're not doing as good as we could be doing. It makes me wonder if this person betrayed you or if they did something to go behind your back, cheat on you, or if they did something to you, Virgo, that made you feel like this person totally crossed the line. Um, because why do they want to build the trust back up again so badly with you, but not knowing if they're gonna, not knowing if they're actually gonna get a chance to do that. I know that it's what they want to do, but they don't really know if things are gonna change between the two of you. So if you're in separation, I feel like you may really resonate with that energy. But if it's just like the two of you are together but having problems, or you're not getting along or you're not on the same page, this person doesn't really know what's going to happen. Everything in their energy shows me, Virgo, how badly they want to make it right with you, the things that they feel they owe to you, and how much they want you to trust them. I don't I don't think they're really going to take no for an answer even if you do tell them no. It just seems like this person will keep trying and trying and trying again. Even though they don't know if it's actually going to work, I can see where they're going to keep trying. So what spirit wants you to know is it's a huge loss being in separation from you or just having these problems come between the two of you and they want to work on rebuilding the trust. I have to kind of blow up this person's spot though because for those of you that uh, what what broke the trust and what separated you, if, if you feel like they did something that was a total violation to the connection to what a connection really means or if they just out and out cheated on you i still see that person's energy lingering so i'm not gonna not tell you that virgo because i can see that there so if you're looking for a sign whether or not you should trust this person i can still see where whatever it is that made you feel like what they did cross the line and was unacceptable and disrespectful. I, I can still see that around this person or that person still around this person that you're watching for. Okay, Virgo. So just choose wisely if you resonate with that energy and you know that someone has a lot to prove to you in the way of trust. I know that they want to, they want to get you to trust them. But then I don't like the way that this person looks like they're still keeping their options open in case, in case you don't allow the connection to move forward again. And now obviously that's not for everyone. I feel like that message is very personal for someone who's specifically looking for a sign from spirit about like, is this person still connected to that other one? And if they should trust them. 
okay virgo that's what i can see going on i love you guys so much that's how they currently feel next is libra all right libra so let's get into your reading this person on your mind how do they feel about This person definitely wants to hear from you. They want you to reach out. Sagittarius's energy is here. Are you guys thinking of a Sagittarius? Uh, cross watchers or moon or rising sign, Libra? If, if you have recently gotten into a connection with this person, they're very grateful that you opened up to them because they felt like it wasn't always easy to get close to you. And the fact that they feel you've opened up and let them let them in and said yes to them, they just keep thinking about what a bright future the two of you could have and like what you could build together, what you could make together, the kind of legacy you could have, the kind of home, the kind of family, the kind of life, lifestyle, everything. This person, so if you've recently gotten into a relationship with them, this person feels like you helped put their whole life on track and into perspective. So that's why there's this energy of like, they can't wait to see what happens from one moment to the next with you, Libra. For others of you, it's spirit letting you know how much this person wants you to let them in, wants you to let your guard down and wants to, you know, prove to you that they're here for the long run, that they're here for something like smooth and steady and consistent, you know, hoping that they're really going to get a this, this person is really thinking about the future in a very serious way. It's about marriage, stability, really building together, growing together, and thriving together. So if you haven't said yes to them yet, Libra, Spirit wants you to know how badly this person wants to be with you, how they are so serious about you, and their intentions towards you. So definitely two different readings in a sense, depending on what's happened. Like if you recently said yes to them and now you're in a relationship, this person just feels like the there's so much potential and it's going to be amazing. They're very positive in their outlook of what could be. And they can't get enough of you, can't get enough of it, can't get enough of the connection. Or if you haven't said yes, they really want you to say yes. And this is how they're envisioning things could go between the two of you. Just feeling like you guys could be so successful. You could never pay too much attention to this person or come on too strong or show them too much affection. They, they love every moment they spend with you. Every bit of attention you give to this person, I know they absorb it so they absorb it like a sponge and they just love being around you. That's why I can see they're thinking about the future so much with you because I know they want to be around you forever. They want you in their life forever. Okay, Libra. That's what I can see going on. I love you guys so much. I hope that was helpful for you. Next is Scorpio. So this person on your mind, Scorpio, let's tap in to the current energies and see how do they feel about you. You have someone that's so eager 
to move things forward with you. You have someone that feels the best has yet to come between the two of you because they feel like in you they found their forever person who they're supposed to be with, who they're destined to be with. Uh, Leo and Sagittarius's energy is here, Scorpio. Are you thinking of one of those signs? There could be cross watchers here watching your reading or your moon or rising sign. I talk about this person's eagerness because temperance is coming through in reverse. And when you came into the picture, they just felt like they came alive again. They were waiting so long for you to come into their life. And now that you're that now that you've come into their life, they just want to even make up for lost time when you weren't in it. Some of you, you could call this person a kindred spirit. Some of you could call them a twin flame. Some of you will call this person your soulmate, or at least I know they call you one of those names. It just, it's the way that they feel you are the one for them and the only one for them. Some of you are in separation from this person though, because with these kindred spirits coming in reverse like that, it shows me a separation. So if you are separated from them, Scorpio, just know that this person has not let go. That's probably why they want to reconnect with you so badly and move forward and like they can't wait. There are no hard feelings here whatsoever. This person just has so much love that they want to give to you and so much commitment. This person feels incredibly proud of you, proud of what you guys could have together, what you could make together. They just feel like I know they I know that they brag about you to everyone that's important to them. And I mean, that's very flattering. It's meant to come across as flattering for you, how much they believe in this. So I'm looking at things from both directions, Scorpio, because for some of you, you're with this person. For others of you, you're in separation. For those of you that are with this person. These two of cups is coming in reverse because they want to bridge the gap with you. They want the two of you to be as close and bonded as you could possibly be. And it's just like they, they have major plans that they want to come to fruition right now today. This person is ready for so much with you, ready for the future. They look at you as someone that is so well-rounded because of your kindness, because of your generosity, but then also like your inner strength. So when you need to be strong, you're strong. And when you need to be kind, you're kind. And they love that about you. There's nothing that they would change about you other than they want to take the next steps in the connection. So if you are in separation, this person is definitely not separated from you emotionally, energetically, spiritually. They're still very connected to you and want want this. They want to be back together with you. They want to make up for lost time. They want to move forward. Okay, Scorpio, that's everything that I can pick up on. That's how they feel. I love you guys so much. Next is Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. So this person on your mind, let's tap in and see their current feelings for you. You have someone who just feels like, well, they're super in love with you, first of all. Can't stop thinking about you, can't stay away from you, drawn to you like a magnet. This person, when it comes to you, Sagittarius, is like a moth to a flame. They're just attracted to you. Um, Pisces energy is strong and the initial M is coming through. Is this initial significant to you? It could be, so I'll mention that to you. 
so head over heels in love with you and and just super super emotional this person i know will be very sensitive when it comes to you they'll read into things when it comes to you because i can see that they do that they have a lot of questions about your feelings for them and one of the biggest questions is do you love me are you in love with me this person doesn't really know where they stand with you. Not truly. I know some of you may feel like you reassure them. Some of you feel that way. But when I tap into this person's energy, they still have so many questions about what the future holds for the two of you, how deep your feelings go, because there's a sense of rejection that comes from them. Them feeling like I wore my heart on my sleeve and I put myself out there. So I know that their ego has been bruised when it comes to trying to figure this out with you, but they can't stay away from you. It's not that they feel walked over, like they're a doormat. It's not like that. But they just, the, the pull towards you is so strong that I know that they're going to keep trying and trying and trying. I don't think you'll be able to push this person away, Sagittarius. Not saying that you'd want to, but I just see someone who, like, it's like a moth to a flame, how crazy attracted to you they are, how deeply in love with you they are, and like they tell, they tell themselves that I'm so in love with you. It would really surprise me if this person hasn't professed their love for you to have you would be like having it all i mean wow it's so flattering because to have you would make this person feel like they're they're so important and they're so special just based off of how they feel about you the respect that they have for you so i just see a very sensitive soul here i see someone that uh loves very hard and loves you very deeply someone that's not like this person is very sweet, and even if you feel like they didn't do anything wrong, it feels like they would be apologetic towards you just because they don't want to do anything to push you away. If, if it sounds like I'm describing someone who's very emotional, they are very emotional. Do you know? I mean, I... I I'd be surprised if they haven't gushed how they feel about you. But that's why I'm curious. Like, do you know how in love with you this person is? You have someone who would do anything for you and just feels like they didn't even know they could feel this way. Not until they met you, not until they came, not until you came into the picture, you came into their life. It's just um, chemistry that's out of this world, really. When you see such strong energies like the Magician and the Ace of Cups, this person feels like you have it all. But like I said, when it comes to, um, you know, they just have a lot of questions about how do you feel about me? Okay, wow, this person, this person is very much enamored with you, taken with you. I wouldn't even know how to let go if they tried. Okay, Sagittarius. That's what's going on. That's how this person feels about you. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. And next is Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. So this person on your mind, let's see their current feelings for you. Wow, this is very, capital V, very significant because most of it is major arcana. Look at this energy coming through all except the ace, the ace of wands there. 
So very, very strong Leo energy and Aries energy and Sagittarius energy. So this could be about a Leo or an Aries or a Sagittarius. Some of you might even be on the cusp of Sagittarius. You, you could be watching for one of those signs, cross watchers watching your reading, Capricorn, or your moon or rising sign. This person is super attracted to you. I mean, physically, sexually, the chemistry is just out of this world. They really feel like you're one of the most attractive people they've ever laid their eyes on. They feel like there is so much untapped potential between you and them. This You just make this person feel like proud and they stand up taller they sit up straighter very proud of of you and just to be around you to be in your presence and if this is your person like the one that you're in a connection with right now oh my gosh they wouldn't change a thing about you their head over heels crazy attracted to you not to be too nosy, but like, I don't know how they let you leave the bedroom because this person, I'm telling you, they are attracted to you in ways that they've never been attracted to anyone. It's physical, it's sexual, it's chemistry, it's passion, it's all of that. And they're thinking about what the future holds for the two of you. It's not like it's just someone that's caught up in the moment and they're looking at it like short term. They're looking at this like, someday I want you to be my spouse. You're the most beautiful person I've ever laid my eyes on. And just you fill them with such a sense of, of pride. So they feel super, okay, so how do I describe this to you? Because just off of being who you are in their eyes, Capricorn, you make them feel proud. Like they're proud of you, but then also to be connected to you or in a relationship with you with that, if that's the case, this person feels like they're so important just because of that. Do you know what I mean? So they really are very eager about the future and things moving forward, things progressing. Someone even really wants to have a child right now. I wonder if you guys have been talking about the future and children and things like that. It's definitely on this person's mind. Someone, if, if you're a male watching this, someone could be looking at you as the potential father of their children. Or if, if it's reversed, um, a masculine energy looking at a feminine energy like I want her to be the mother of my children so it is all good Capricorn I mean really it is this person feels like everything with you is all good there's nothing that they the only thing that they would change is having all of this now and not not wanting to like wait for it there's a real eagerness, but that just shows you how sure this person is about what they want, how they feel about you, how attracted they are to you, very much caught up in the moment, taken with you, proud of you. In a sense, you have them wrapped around your finger. Yeah, you do. Wow. Wow. Okay, that is what's going on. I mean, they've never they've never felt this way about anyone. They've never been so attracted in the way that they are attracted to you. Okay, Capricorn, that's what I can see going on. That is how they feel currently about you. Next is Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. So this person on your mind, let's tap in and see. How do they feel about you? You have someone that wants to come back into your life. They do not want it to be over. Is this a recent 
separation, Aquarius? If not, it's just even more significant, I feel, because you have someone who's still uh, like caught up in your energy, still stuck on you. And, and with the overall energy as the world in reverse, that's like it can't be over between us. I won't let it go. I don't want it to be over between us. Um, they want to they want to talk to you so badly. They want to come see you. They want to spend time with you They wish that they could call you again text you again Or that they would look at their phone and see messages from you or miss calls from you or that you would just call them and reach out Do you guys hear that that's just a fire truck in the background so they want to come back into your life like with everything within them they want this so badly is what i'm telling you like they won't give up on it but they don't feel like you're exactly open to that they feel like uh if they were to call you you probably hang the phone up in their face or they may not even be able to get a call through to you aquarius because they could very well be blocked they're thinking about uh, the blockages, thinking about, from, from this person's perspective, and they may be dead, right? They just feel like, I don't know if you, you want anything to do with me. They want everything to do with you. They want to be back in your life. They want to be back together daily. They want to be with you daily. But the way that they're looking at you is um, like you really have your guard up. Like you don't want to look at me. You don't want to see me. And it's going to be, I don't know how I'm going to get back into your heart. That's, the, that's what this person is trying to figure out. So you definitely hold all the power from their perspective. They feel like the two of you coming back together is totally your decision to make. They want it so badly, but it's up to you whether or not that's really going to happen. So if they haven't reached out to you yet, Aquarius, it's because this person is anticipating it not going right. They're anticipating it going left. They're anticipating, like I said, getting the phone hung up on them or just being rejected, especially if they try to go in for a hug or they try to get close to you. This person feels like you may out and out reject them and, and keep them at arm's length. So that's a reason why they haven't come forward if they haven't come forward. But if they've come forward and it seems like now they're sending you mixed messages, know what the truth is. They want to be with you. They want to be back together with you. They don't want it to be over. If you feel like they've gone cold or you feel like they're sending you those mixed messages, it is because this person feels like you have major walls up around you. So that's what's going on there. Don't think I'm taking their side when I tell you that, but that's how they're looking at things. They're not going to let go anytime soon. Even if you don't pick up the call, even if you don't have anything to do with them, they're hung up on you currently and are going to remain hung up on you. Okay, Aquarius, that's how they feel. That's what's going on right now. All right, I love you guys so much. Next is Pisces. Okay, Pisces, so the person on your mind, let's tap in and see their current feelings for you. So this, this feels like someone who's longing for you. 
because the six of cups is the overall energy showing me into the past sagittarius is also coming through is this about a sagittarius pisces could be cross watchers here or your moon or rising sign let me show you these energies coming through so when this person thinks of you they think of you very fondly they think of all the best times that the two of you had and they they want to marry you they really do they want to be with you marry you build a life with you and and just be with you forever but then I see uh, the ways that this person feels like they don't really know what to do. Even feeling like you push them away and put them in a position where now they're just at a loss for words and they don't know what actions to take, but they still want you. Like this, this person cares very deeply for you. This person loves you. Otherwise, they wouldn't be envisioning a future like that marriage. They feel like the two of you belong together. You don't belong with anyone else but them. And I can see where they're waiting patiently for this to come back around again because of the way that they believe in it. So it's tricky because I know that this person also feels like you put them in a position like as if you push them away, Pisces. So they don't know whether or not it's a good time to approach you i know how much they want to approach you but at the same time they're anticipating it going wrong if they did like if they were to reach out or even run into you they feel like you might you might even show them anger and be mad at them or just like irritated and frustrated with them so that's what kind of keeps them at a standstill. I see all of the things that they desire and what they want, but also why they won't make a move and come forward or why they haven't made a move and, and come forward. It's like they're just waiting for things to fall into place the way they believe it, it truly will. They look at it like you're mine, you belong to me, and what's meant to be is going to be. So they don't have... Uh, eyes for anyone else they don't have a desire to be with anyone else they're very much um, kind of caught up in the past in some ways good some ways bad good good because you know when they think of the happy times between the two of you it puts this person in a, in a happy place but then I can also see, you know, being stuck in, in that energy of waiting for you, this person really hasn't moved forward. It makes me wonder if you want them. Because if you want them, Pisces, they're yours. They're yours long term. They're yours forever. Like this person wants to build a life with you. They want to just be there for you in any way you need them to be there for you. To do whatever it takes to make you feel like things are secure and happy and stable around you. That's how they feel currently. It makes me wonder what really happened between the two of you. But that's how they're looking at things. All right, Pisces. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Next is Aries. Okay, so the person on your mind, Aries. Let's tap into the current energy. How do they feel about you? They have a lot of questions about like what's going to happen and when are things going to move forward between us. They feel like you are kind of controlling things as far as the timing and they feel like you, you're making them wait. 
like you're, you're even making them wait as a way to gain power that's how they're looking at it this person feels they are waiting for you that's what you need to know aries but then also like you that's how you're kind of controlling things controlling the power is because it's happening when you say it's going to happen so you have someone that just um, has a lot of questions about what the future holds for the two of you. But you know something? The longer they feel like you won't let things progress or move forward, or you're just making them wait, it actually hurts this person deeply. I'm not on their side when I tell you that, Aries, but that's just what's going on with them. And the more they feel like it's not moving forward, you know, like I said, it hurts. And then they're, they're starting to think about what their needs are, the needs that they have that they feel are not being met. They even, they, they question a lot of things like what your motives are. And sometimes they feel like you're being too hard on them by um, holding, holding back from them. They feel like, I mean, they start to question, like, are you playing a game with my heart? Are you playing a game with me? Like, why, why do you want to do this? You know, it's, so if it's as lighthearted as you're playing hard to get with someone, when it comes to this person's energy, I don't think that that motivates them in a sense. I know that they're waiting, 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 but it actually hurts this person. So if you're just playing hard to get and it's more lighthearted, that might be doing more harm than good, Aries. But some of you know that, you know, maybe you do have hard feelings when it comes to this person. Maybe you're giving them a taste of their own medicine going tit for tat, maybe trying to get them to learn how something feels Feels or felt from your perspective because that's what the whole vibe is like I can see what this person goes through emotionally and how they're even questioning a lot of these things they just one of their biggest questions is why and when why won't you open up to me and when will you open up to me what they really want is for you to take a chance and really invest, invest your heart, invest your time, invest your life. But depending on what's happened between the two of you, you'll know why you may be the one that's holding back. See the 10 of wands even coming in reverse. That's very stuck. Some of you are holding back because of just emotionally what's happened. And maybe it was one thing after another, after another, after another. So maybe this is just the way that you feel you're back in a position of being able to control something. But like I said, if it's as lighthearted as playing hard to get and there's no trying history, between you and this person, uh, that does not look like it's going to go well for them because of how much it hurts them. It confuses this person. It confuses them more than makes them want to strive at breaking down your walls. Okay, Aries, that's what's going on currently. I love you guys. I hope that it was helpful for you. And next is Taurus. All right, Taurus, so the person on your mind, let's tap in and see how they currently feel about you. For some of you, this is about a Virgo or a Pisces for others of you. 
cross watchers are also here watching your reading Taurus or your moon or rising sign may be in Pisces or Virgo so I actually pick up on a lot of worry and overall, the way that this person, I mean, they want you, like they want something solid, serious, and stable. A ring on the finger wouldn't hurt either from their perspective. So they feel like they're, they're waiting and it, it's a sacrifice to wait. And I think that they question a lot about what the future holds for the two of you. At the same time, they want to acknowledge how much you've grown and how much you've come full, like, like how much you've grown really with the hermit in reverse. So they want to acknowledge that. But I can also see where it's almost like this person is afraid to fully be happy. So if it sounds like my mind is racing and I'm all over the place, it's because that's the way this person's energy comes across where one moment they're thinking about something positive and then it's like they're reminded of something negative or they shift the energy into a negative space really. But I think they feel they're doing that to err on the side of caution or like a defense mechanism. Then there's also these, these little feelings of a lack of romance or them trying and not being acknowledged the way they, oh, in a way that would have made them comfortable. So this person's energy is, is actually really complicated, Taurus. You only you will know the history and what's gone on between the two of you, or maybe even just you may not know what this person experienced recently in a connection or what they experienced in a significant connection. Because, like I said, it's almost like they're afraid to be at ease, it's almost like they're afraid to fully be happy, and they do want certain things proven to them how stable it's going to be. But then, then they may not even fully let themselves believe it. So you have someone that I can see really needs a lot of TLC and patience. And even this person looks like they've gone through a recent transformation and they've actually grown a lot themselves. So I wonder if the two of you have bonded over similar experiences or like recent changes. And it also makes me wonder if you're actually with this person right now. So if you are in a relationship with this person and that's who you're watching for, they need so they need reassurance about what the future holds and even money. They feel very worried even if they're you may see it come out in other ways other than them just out and out saying it verbally. You may see it in other ways. They definitely want more security. But they also don't want you to think that they're just complaining and dumping all over you because they want to acknowledge uh, how far you've come and how far the connection has come. But maybe it's just they have reasons to be worried recently because it all goes back to this person being worried. For those of you, maybe just getting to know them, not in a relationship with them yet. I think what Spirit wants you to know is that this person has gone through a lot and they're still carrying those scars or emo emotional burdens. They're still carrying it. And... I wonder if you feel like you've had to bear the brunt of that or this person confuses you and you just don't understand their actions from one moment to the next. There could be a lot of things that have yet to come out that this person has gone through because they worry so much about a lack of stability. Also, Taurus, if this person has opened up and shared with you Things that they've gone through, um, even growing up, 
things that they've gone through in a significant connection, I think that spirit is like emphasizing this to you. Maybe, maybe so you can put things into perspective if things have been confusing to them or, you know, you're watching because you don't know how they feel about you. It just seems like they've gone through a lot. It seems like they're even currently going through a lot, a lot of worry. And they just need to find their footing and their grounded energy so they can let themselves just relax and enjoy what they have. I feel like they will get to that place. That's why I'm telling you that. Um, and if you want to give them TLC, that's, that's not a bad idea at all. You know, depending on what's gone on with you and this person... I can just, you know, if, you, if you're in a relationship with them, you care about them, or you just, you know, you're not in a relationship, but you care about this person, I I can see where they've gone through a lot. It, it's just like, it's all around this person currently. So maybe even something is triggering for them. From this person's perspective, one of the worst things is feeling ignored or rejected. And also one of the worst things is feeling like something is kept secret or hidden. They want transparency. They want to be embraced. But then also, don't be surprised if you reassure them, Taurus, and they're still kind of like, really, or, or skeptical. It just feels like it takes a lot for this person to really let themselves relax and trust. Okay, it makes me wonder, like, who is this to you and what's going on? But, yeah, there's it's definitely very complicated in this person's energy currently. Okay, Taurus, I hope that was helpful for you. That's what I can see going on with this person. All right, I love you guys so much. And next is Gemini. Okay, Gemini, so this person on your mind, let's tap in and see how they currently feel about you. It's very interesting because there's like this energy of like a grudge being held. With the Six of Cups in reverse, are any of you watching this to find out how a friend feels about you? Because the Three of Cups is coming through. So some of you could even have a friend that really misses you because no matter how you look at it, whether it's a friend or romantic, whatever, this person really misses you. And moreover, like, wants you to let them in and, and pull them closer. They feel like they're on their own and they're struggling and they need you. That's what it looks like. This person is very needy when it comes to you. Needs, need your support, need your love, need your companionship, your company, your friendship. But then it's very interesting to me that the Six of Cups in reverse is the overall energy. So something is definitely bothering this person and it's bothering them over and over and over again. Something that they can't seem to shake or get over. I just know that they, they want things to be better and smooth. They definitely want to come see you or have you come over to where they are it's really all about this person's desire to spend time with you right now gemini is this romance 
I asked that question because the energy of the Three of Cups is coming through. So I can see into the way this person really cherishes you and the friendship that the two of you have built. You feeling like you're one of their closest friends, maybe even their best friend. Someone that they have so much fun with and normally they get along with so well. So maybe you guys are lovers and friends. Maybe you're lovers and friends, but in separation. Or for others of you, it could just be your, your friends. And for whatever reason, their energy is coming through in your reading. Because it's something that spirit wants you to know, Gemini. So, so it's definitely like tension and the elephant in the room. But when it comes to this thing that they're thinking about, this experience from the past that irks them over and over and over, it makes them feel very defeated. There is, there is even a sense of, will that ever really be resolved or go away? They're doubtful about that. Right now, I just see someone who really needs you and is is feeling quite lost and alone. So even, even if something from the past came between the two of you recently, this person, they want you to come to them. They want to see you or they want to go to you. It's even about taking baby steps to get things back in the right direction. Okay, Gemini. So I see someone that wants to resolve any issues the two of you have. But then, um, you know, it's important for you to be aware of whatever this is that's irking them and bothering them so much. Like it's still present on this person's mind in their energy. But then they cherish you so much. So it just seems like there's an issue, an unresolved issue between you and this person. And maybe that's what's making the two of you not see eye to eye or have difficulties or even be in separation. But from their perspective, the bond that you have is too strong. Because like I said, they really look at you as one of the closest people in their life. So I know they want to resolve anything going on. Okay, Gemini, that's what's going on with this person. I hope that it was helpful for you. And next is Cancer, last but not least. So Cancer, this person on your mind. Let's tap into the current energy and their feelings for you. Sagittarius's energy is really strong, Cancer. Is that who you're thinking of? Or an Aquarius? There could be uh, cross watchers and that's their energy coming through or your moon or rising sign. I'll tell you about it because it's here. Are you guys taking a break right now? They may, they may want a break to try and clear their head. Or, or do you want a break? Because I keep picking up on this energy of like maybe taking time apart to make things right. So if you are on a break, it's actually good for the connection. I know it may not feel good for the connection, but it's actually working out in your favor. Because I can see the potential outcome of this break um, it's going to be we start over again and we take another chance. So they are going to take another chance if you're waiting for them to make a decision when it comes to you, Cancer. Or if that's your own energy, because I keep seeing it like go back and forth. They're going to give you the time that you need. And if you're really wondering what's to come, like the potential outcome... 
It's rising above the disappointment. It's resolving the issues that have been going on and on and on. And it's taking another leap of faith together. So that's where it's headed. It just feels like currently this person is in a place where they're just trying to, to digest everything, so to speak. They're trying to um, just get back on track. They're going through a lot emotionally, but overall they're focusing on the positive outcome that they want to happen. So what I, what, if they haven't told you that they need a break or space, I can see that energy going on and I don't say that to offend. Maybe they don't know how to tell you that because they don't want to offend. But I can see that that's what they want and that's what they feel they need. They feel like that's going to be good for the connection. And ultimately, it will be good for the connection. So is spirit advising to you, Cancer? Like if you're with your current person, um, maybe to just give each other space and more independence from the connection or if they've asked you that i can see if you respect that there's there's a positive outcome there or maybe you're the one that asked them i think they are going to respect that because ultimately no matter how you look at the energy there's a positive outcome and a lot of things are going to get worked out between you and this person for once and for all that need to be that pattern of history repeating itself is going to come to an end. Since I can see and pick up on all of these things, when I tap into this person's energy, it's spirit letting you know, especially if you're on a break or taking space, what they're realizing and what they're seeing and what they're going through, what they're experiencing. Because I know you're going to come back together and this whole independence or time apart or just giving each other personal space is going to be very, very helpful. Did I show you guys these energies? I'm not sure if I did, but I'll hold them up again. So I know that I'm definitely seeing the potential outcome in the near future, not only their feelings for you, I, I just know that they need this right now because when I look at their overall energy and feelings, there is like a sense of defeat and something is irking this person and I know that they do feel disappointed. Even if you're broken up or it's just a separation, if you want to call it a separation, it's all going to work out and I just have to stress that fact. So the best thing for you and this person is to really respect each other's boundaries, especially if it is asking for space or time apart it's really going to set things back on track because the connection is not over and when you look at this time you'll you'll look back and see how it had a positive effect on the connection cancer definitely a lot more than i expected to see in your reading because you know i'm just looking at the feelings but i'm seeing so much more than this person's feelings And, you know, how they just, I, I know that they're just going through a lot. Not saying that you put them through a lot, but they just look like they need uh, time to recuperate. To kind of get their energy back up, get their spirits back up, get their mind in the right place and, and things headed in the right direction. They're working really hard on positivity and um, like manifesting a positive outcome. It just feels like this person has so much that they're like that they need to put into perspective. So don't I know it's easier said than done, but don't let this person needing space kind of scare you or make you fear about the future. If they should ask or if you can just pick up on it in their energy cancer, because I know that 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 that's something that's necessary from their perspective but also necessary to get the connection back on track see some of you here watching 
know very well why this person could need space from you you know some of you know exactly what that situation is you'll resonate with that energy and i'm here to tell you that if you respect their boundaries and give them the space that they need especially if you're waiting for them to decide if they're going to take another chance on you if you give them their space they will take another leap of faith and a chance and like like i mean a clean slate kind of chance where we can start all over again and I'll, I'm going to trust you. Okay, I wonder what that means to you. I don't want you to think I'm not on your side when I tell you these energies. But that is what's going on. That is what I can see. Okay, you guys, I love you so much. Thank you again for joining me for another reading. And I'll see you guys in the next video.